The apex court has stayed the release of four other convicts in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination case. Remember, the centre had ch challenged the Tamil Nadu government's decision to release all seven convicts. Three of those had their death sentences commuted from uh, uh, to, to life terms. Four of them were already serving life terms. This latest verdict affects those four prisoners uh, who had been serving life terms. They were among the people released by Jayalalitha. Uh, the Supreme Court now staying their release as well. Jaskirat Singh Bawa joins us from outside the court for more on this. Uh, Jaskirat, uh, the, tell us uh, the, the reasoning behind uh, the court's decision this morning. Well, what has simply happened is a mere extension of the earlier order on the remaining four convicts who were not sentenced to death but were already serving a life sentence. The earlier order by the Supreme Court uh, with regards to the Tamil Nadu government's decision to release all seven of them only pertained to the three people whose death sentences were recently commuted to that of life sentence. Uh, one of the government lawyers candidly admitted to us on record that there they may have perhaps been an oversight or uh, in the rush or in the hurry of things, we may have missed the remaining four people. But the Tamil Nadu government refrained from releasing the remaining four people, being uh, understanding that the Supreme Court's mood was perhaps indicative of the fact that none of them should be released to this matter, this result. For now, March 6 is a set date when all the seven matters, that's the matter pertaining to the release of all the seven convicts, will be listed for, where the Tamil Nadu government will be presenting with its response to the center, challenging Tamil Nadu's jurisdiction or authority to actually go ahead with the release. All right, so this is in fact a stay on the release until the Tamil Nadu government can come forward and respond, if, they've, uh, if I've understood correctly. Well, that is correct. If we the stay is only until uh, further notice from the Supreme Court. The two deliberations will resume on the 6th of March. All right, and, and for a bit more detail on this, because the Supreme Court had indicated in its earlier verdict uh, when, when it, uh, stay, when it uh, uh, commuted those death sentences in the case, it said that the decision is up to uh, the, the state of Tamil Nadu uh, under Article 6, 161 of the Constitution, which gives the governor powers to remit the sentences. Well, that is correct, Pierre. Now, what we are given to understand over here is that the Tamil Nadu government will be uh, saying that they have the prerogative and the decision is in their hands with regards to the release of these convicts. Uh, but they will have to convince the Supreme Court about this, uh, which would, again, happen on the 6th of March. Uh, it remains to be seen whether the Tamil Nadu government will be able to go through with their decision on the release. Jaski Singh Bawa, many thanks for those updates from the Supreme Court. Uh, temporary reprieve, if it can even be considered that, uh, uh, rather not a reprieve, but a temporary stay on the, on the decision to release these, uh, these four convicts in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination case. Uh, 6th of March, which is uh, about a week from now, is when the Tamil Nadu government will respond to why it feels those people should be freed.